I have played this game with sugar packets at a coffee shop. I've played this game with poker chips at a moose lodge. I've played this game with coins on a picnic table. It's pretty cheap. <music> Greetings, gamer. Thanks for tuning in again. Back in 1996, an enterprising young fella named James Ernest was a game designer. Uh, he had been involved in some game design projects with fairly major publishers and uh, some fairly major game designs as well. And uh, of course, like a lot of game designers, he had a lot of ideas floating around in his head for games. He also came up with an idea to sell a toolbox for games. The idea was that you would put a bunch of high quality game components into a box and sell that to people. And then you could sell them rules to games that could be played with that box of pieces. Sounds a little bit like the Looney Labs pyramid stuff to me. Mr. Ernest didn't have too good luck at selling that idea, so he kind of went back to the drawing board and he came to the conclusion that most everybody already has game pieces, such as pawns and dice and score trackers and things that they could use from other games uh, or buy individually. And uh, so he didn't really have to sell a whole game. What he really had to sell was the rules to the game and maybe a few accoutrements like score sheets and maybe a board layout uh, that could be copied with a, just a regular copier um, and maybe some cards that could be printed out and uh, printed on cardstock and cut out with scissors and so on. And so the idea for Cheap Ass Games was born. Cheap Ass Games published quite a wide range of games that were nothing more than sheets of paper in an envelope. Uh, but there was some clever stuff in there. Uh, probably one of the most notable of Mr. Ernest's Cheap Ass Games uh, was the Dr. Lucky series. Ultimately got some professional treatment, so to speak, that put them in a set-up box with colorful rules and professionally produced pieces and so on. And the Cheap Ass Project kind of faded from view for a while. It was around 2010 when James Ernest came up with the idea for this game, Take Back Toe. Now Take Back Toe was essentially just another paper-based game with very simple components and rules, but it got some very favorable attention. Aside from being uh, noted in some game reviews and magazines, it won the Thousand Year Game Challenge in 2011. Now that was a uh, contest to determine some games that the judges of the game contest thought would be played a thousand years from now. That's pretty high praise for a stack of poker chips on a die. So how do I play this remarkable game, you ask? The Take Back Toe game is four columns wide and three rows deep. This is an official version of from the Cheap Ass website. This is an impromptu version scratched out on a paper bag. Either one works just fine, but let's use the pretty one. Checkers or coins or cookies would work as markers, but you need 40 of them. I prefer poker chips, and I have a lot of those laying around. And you'll need a six-sided die. I keep one in my pocket, because you never know when you might need a six-sided die. The object of the game is to create three equal stacks on your side of the board. That can be stacks of one, or stacks of ten, or anything. On your turn, you roll that die, then move a stack of chips equal to that number, either forward or backward. That's it. There's only one further restriction. You cannot reverse your opponent's previous move. Be aware that you can move chips onto or away from your opponent's stacks as well as your own. But don't forget your objective and spend too much time trying to thwart the enemy. That's take back to all. Yes, I do carry dice around in my pocket most of the time, but uh, 40 poker chips is a little conspicuous, so keep those in a separate container. In 2019, uh, Cheap Ass Games was bought by Greater Than Games. Greater Than Games are the folks that took the Dr. Lucky series and turned it into what it is today. Then in 2021, Greater Than Games was bought by the Flat River Group. 
and the cheap ass website was shut down at that point. And last year, 2022, James Ernest became affiliated with Crab Fragment Labs. And Crab Fragment has a website which has a page of the old cheap ass games, uh, the old paper versions that came in an envelope. They are free to download, although contributions are appreciated, as you can imagine. A uh, connection to that site, uh, that page, is uh, in the notes below. So if you happen to have a D6, maybe not this one, and 10 bucks worth of quarters in your pocket, you can scratch out this little grid of spaces and start playing Take Back Toe. Remind your opponent, this is a game that will still be played a thousand years from now. That makes it a little special. And so, whether you play Take Back Toe or some other game, be sure to play every day. <laughs>